on a bit of a hiding to nothing, Dennis, in a sense, aren't you? Because they're coming here, everyone expects you to win by a massive margin. And we do. Uh, and you do. So, but that's what that, that, but them, them, these are the kind of games you can, you can get a little bit sloppy and you can, you can try and play differently. I mean, what we came in here today was to practice some stuff and do some stuff that we've not been, it's not been working for us in games. Our support play's not been great. We knew we'd get opportunities today, so we talked about just being able to push through on the ball and get some tempo in us and, and enjoy having the ball in our hands. I think mean, our completion rate's been all right, but we've just not executed or really put any kind of accuracy on some of the things we've done on our list. It was a, a way of getting to practice. And it's always hard in these games because these lads are they're not they're not full time, they're not fit, they're not they're getting the wrong places, they're defensively, they're not doing the things you'd expect any Super League side to do. So it becomes a little bit ad hoc as well. But I know we stuck to our guns. Defensively, like I say, we just we did some when we had to defend, we did really well. When we had to attack, we looked sharp and You'd expect the lads that were leaving people on the floor to do that at this level. And that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to say it. And it's a tough challenge for Coventry because, because we're not we're not winning games, but we're playing okay. So we need to bit of confidence in ourselves. And to do that, we needed to play well today. And I thought Alex Gerrard stepped up a little bit. He, ne he needs to play like that against the Coventries of this world or the, the, the tier two sides. And he did. So I was pleased for him as well. Lloyd White gets his first hit. Pat Avan carries the ball in anger, which is tough to do in any kind of training situation. So he's got a good one out. I thought there was some solid performances across the team. Uh, White and Avan obviously back after injuries, come through okay as far as you Yes, know. That, the, that, the, and that's one of the pleasing things to come out of this game is that everybody seems to be all right. The first time in a, <coughs> first time in a month and a half, we've come out of the game without anybody carrying any knocks or being injured. Chance to look at that sort of midfield combination between Craven and Gilmore with, with Reese because that's probably going to be what you're going with for the next few weeks. With yeah, I, I can't see John Miller being right for Friday night. He's just been he's been playing with a sore groin for a number of weeks, and it's we thought we were trying to get on top of it, and it was slowly getting better. But over the last couple of weeks, it's gradually just got worse, over, especially over the, the Easter period. So I can't see him making, which gives us a combination that we worked on today, which was Gilmore and Craven with Reese out the back. So I picked a pretty strong side today. I could have picked a lot more kids, and I wanted to see what Stanton was like within that group, but it was pretty good. Um, again, it's like Owen Farnworth would have been just as effective out there today as he was last week, but I know what Owen can do. I know the chance that he's looking for. But it gave us a chance to have a look at Stanton and get Jason game time, get Alex some game time, get McGrath. McGrath seems like he's finding his feet again as well, like after a long time in the in the wilderness of being injured.